Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to create our first REST API using Spring Boot. We have already created a video on how to create your first sample project using Spring Boot. If you want to check that video, link is provided in the description box and also somewhere on the top of your screen. So let's get back to our today's video. In today's video, we are going to create a movies application. So basically, you can uh, watch a list of all the movies and some of their related information and in upcoming videos we will be adding the functionality where we can add new movies or update the existing one or delete any data which is already in the list so let's get started and first we are going to create our spring boot application We are going to add Spring Web dependency as this will be a web application. Let's wait while our project is being set up. So our project has been set up and this is the auto generated piece of code. Now let's create a POJO. So I already have the definition written. I am going to copy paste it here. There we go. Uh, we are going to generate uh, the constructors, getters and setter. And also we are going to override the two string method for our this class. To list our POJO into the Spring application context, we are going to use at the rate component annotation for now. Since it, it's a very basic POJO and we are not connecting to database and uh, any other application. So for now, we are keeping it simple with the component annotation. But let's say if we had to connect to the database, then we will be using more relevant annotation like entity or a repository. Let's go ahead and create uh, our controller class.
now we are going to initialize this movie movies list with some of the predefined uh, data and we are going to use static block to achieve this i already have the data written so i am going to copy paste that here again this time we are going to use at the rate rest controller annotation Uh, now what we want our first basic functionality would be uh, to be able to access this list of movies uh, using any of our rest client so uh, let's achieve that we'll be doing that using at the rate get mapping annotation and specifying a uri which can be accessed by the user So this is the method we are going to use to return the list of the movies. Now let's try to run the application. Okay. So we got an error message that port 8080 is already in use. So let's change the port for our application. So this is how you can modify the port of your application by going into the application.properties file and mentioning this property. Let's try to run the application again. Okay, so it says that your application has been started successfully. Now we are going to test this using a uh, REST client uh, named Postman, which is really good for testing your REST applications. We're going to trigger the GET request on our local host 8082. So here we can see that this successfully returned the list of all the movies we had stored in our application. So this is how you can do a simple get using Spring Boot. And that's it for today's session. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice rest of the day.